What's up guys, it's Glitch Gaming here, and today's video I'm going to be showing you a brand new card duplication glitch on GTA 5 Online. So if you are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you do not miss out on any of my latest videos. And if you are looking for cheap, fast and reliable modded accounts, definitely check out Digizani. They are my go-to website for legit modded accounts on PS4. Xbox and PC. Don't forget to use the code GLITCH at checkout for a discount, link will be in the description. So anyways, in today's video I'm going to be showing you a brand new card duplication glitch on GTA 5 Online and I'm pretty sure this is the only card duplication glitch working at the moment. As said in my last video, a lot of them did get patched by Rockstar with the hotfix. So definitely drop a like down below if you're excited for this, but I just need to explain a few things before we get into the video so it all makes sense and you don't get confused. Now this glitch, like quite a few glitches in the past few days, this was working at one point until it got patched, but for some reason Rockstar have recently been unpatching, probably accidentally, unpatching glitches so they start working again, including this one. So this one has been on my channel before and it did get patched. But with a recent update that Rockstar has brought out, this for some reason has been unpatched. So it's now completely working the exact same way before. So I'm going to play you the video that I uploaded to my channel a couple of weeks ago. I think it was working. It was working around the February the 15th, something like that. So I'm going to show you that video. It's perfectly fine and I hope you do enjoy it. I'll leave a link to the founder in the description, shout out to them, and if you want the text tutorial let me know, but this video is pretty clear and I'm sure you guys will like it. But this is the only card duplication glitch working at the moment, I'm pretty sure, so if you have any problems let me know down in the comments, but enjoy the video. But anyways, getting into the video, what you will need for this glitch is a facility. Now in the facility, I'm not sure if it has to be full of dot, I don't think it does, but you do need the car that you want to duplicate inside the facility. So obviously the Benny's cars are the best, the Elegy Retro Custom, because they're the only ones that sell, and it does need to have a custom plate on it. So make sure you have custom plates on the cars that you're duplicating. Now once you've done that, you also need a garage, doesn't matter what garage it is, but you do need a garage which is full, and doesn't matter what cars are in the garage, but you do need a one, at least one car that you want to overwrite. So have an Elegy RH8, or a car like that that you don't care about, because that's what we're going to be overwriting. But you could just fill up your whole garage with LGs ready to do the glitch over and over again. And of course it would be better if you get a garage which is near your facility so you can just drive there quicker. Now anyways, once you've got all of that set up, what you want to do is go into your facility. And you want to go over to the car that you want to duplicate. Now you do want to invite your friend into your facility. And your friend literally only has to do one thing and it's really easy. And all you want to do is go into your facility and you want to get into the car that you want to duplicate. And what your friend is going to do is once he's in your facility, what he wants to do is start up a job. So it can be a Titan of a job or any mission or anything like that. And he just wants to sit in the settings screen. So don't start up the job, just sit in the settings screen. Once he's in the settings, what you want to do is go over to your party if you're on Xbox or PlayStation. Or join through his name or anything. You just want to join him. And you can even join him through the pause menu if you want. But I'm on PS4. So I'm going to go to the party, press on his name and press join session. Now when you join the session, when you get put back onto the game, your game will start going into a black screen. Now what you want to do is, as soon as you get back to the game, you want to spam the accelerator button, which is R2 or RT on Xbox. And then you will get put on an alert screen. As soon as you see the alert screen, you want to accept it. After the first one, you will get a second alert screen, so accept that one. Now once the alert screens pop up, you don't have to be spamming. RT or the accelerator button anymore. So just spam the accelerator button until the alert message pops up. You want to accept the alert message and then accept the second alert message. And if it's done correctly, you will be put into a glitched out screen under your facility. Now from here, your friend can actually leave the job. Once he leaves the job, all you want to do is tap the accelerator button again. So R2 or RT. And you should spawn on the map above your facility, on the road, anything like this. And all you want to do is just check on the map to make sure that your car is untagged so make sure that you don't see the car logo on the map so it's basically like acting like a street car if you think about it and at this point when your car is untagged all you want to do is drive over to your garage which is full and it has the LGRH8 or Fagio that you're replacing 
and all your friend wants to do is just stay in the facility until you're done. Now what you're going to do is drive over to your garage, park it outside and just get out and all you want to do is go into your garage. Now when you're in your garage you want to get into the car that you want to replace so that's why we have an LG Retro Custom, sorry, an LG RH8 or a Faggy on side to replace over. So you just want to get into the vehicle and then you want to drive outside of the garage. Now when you get out of the garage you want to park it next to the car that you're duplicating, the car that is obviously untagged. You just want to get inside of it and you want to drive it into your garage. Once you've done that this will actually replace the LG RH8 for the car that you're duplicating so you've just actually got a free car. Now if your car glitches out just like mine all you want to do is go out of the garage and then you can go back in. Now when you're in the garage what you want to do is drive the LG Retro Custom or the car that you're duplicating out and then you want to drive it back in so all of this is going to do is just completely save the car make sure that it's there but basically what's happened now is you have the duplicate inside your garage so as you can see on the screen and the original version of the car is returned back to your facility so now your friend is still in the facility if you want to rinse and repeat all you can do is just leave this car inside the garage and have another LG or Fagio inside the garage go back to your facility and just duplicate the car again because your friend will already be in the facility and then you will have two LG Retro Customs inside your garage after you duplicate again so you can just keep doing it over and over again super easy super fast and I hope you guys take advantage of it while you can but anyways if you did like this video leave a like subscribe and until next time see you